It's the 7th of September, 2020. I'm Kemi Lunlayer for Kemi Talks Gist. Tunde Idnot is a blogger. To many people, they know him from Instagram as a blogger and a verified account. To others, they call him a failed musician. And when he failed, he started blogging, posting videos of other people, half the time not crediting anybody. He got into my little den at one time, posting my video and altering my caption. I told him to remove the caption. He didn't. He refused twice, so I called Instagram on him. I flagged my video on his page. Like I said, he steals a lot of people's videos. Instagram came and suspended his account for two days, a Friday and a Saturday. Many people didn't notice. But yeah, he didn't post. That's because they blocked his account. And my video was removed. Now remember, I don't play bullshit with anybody when it comes to anything that has to do with my intellectual property. Intellectual property is something you created on the internet and you own. Ednot left Nigeria after a failed music career. That's what they say, a failed music career. I don't know whether his music career failed or not because I've never heard his music to start with. Okay, because some of the things you guys call failed in Nigeria is actually not. When he got to England, he tried to survive, he tried to work, he tried to play... Eventually, the British caught him for stealing an iPhone. He stole the iPhone, he was locked up, did time, and he was deported. When Edna was deported from London to Nigeria, a lot of people didn't really know what happened. I reported it. Of course, nobody believes me. I have everybody's gist. That's why I created Kemi Talks Gist. Edna was deported for stealing an iPhone. And the police arrested him. You know the role of the O2. And he came home. How he managed to get to the United States is beyond anybody. But his girlfriend, Zainab, got him in there. Nigerian guys do it all the time. They'll meet a girl in line and say they're in love, and then they'll marry and all that stuff. He's been living in Atlanta since then. Zainab is actually in New York. Okay, ultimately they'll move together, get married. And his own is not really those convenient wedding things, you know. A lot of Nigerian men marrying Americans, even old ladies, grandmas and all. Zainab is young like he is, and they're actually in love. So Ednot is going to get his papers very soon when he marries Zainab, and everything's all ready to go. I think they give them two years on a marriage green card. So, I think he's even gone through or something, because I know he was in Nigeria recently, so his two years must be over and he must have his green card. Congratulations on that. But that's who Tunde Idnot is. You know, he likes to post things on other people. He posts other people's video. He calls himself an entertainer and not a blogger. So... I don't go to his page every day. He blocked me after my encounter with him, stealing my property. And I don't really have time to even check certain things. Anyone that blocks me is just kidding themselves. I go to my son's page and I check their pages from there if I need to. But half the time, if you block me, I don't really have anything I want to check you, you know, on your page. I mean, for one, I don't follow anybody on social media. My handles are monetized. If you want me to follow you, you pay 70000 okay? It's 80000 at Instablog Niger. So if you don't know why some people are not following anybody, it's because we have monetized handles. We advertise your handle, and you get lots of followers. Well, that's it for me today, 7th of September, 2020, on Tunde Ednot. That's who it is. His real name, I still wouldn't tell you because of... Should I say security reasons or privacy reasons or immigration reasons? Let's just call him Tunde Ednot.